Have you heard about the worst nuclear disaster in British history? Probably not, unless you're British or a nuclear engineer. Chances are you haven't. But it might just be the most significant nuclear accident you've never heard of. I mean, that's saying something, considering it's often considered worse than Chernobyl. In October 1957, a gas-powered reactor at Britain's first nuclear power station in North Wales overheated and exploded, spewing radioactive debris across the country. The disaster at Windscale, which we'll get to in a minute, happened shortly after midnight on October. Nobody was killed instantly, but the explosion released a substantial amount of radioactive material into the air, including iodine-131 and cesium-137. This is a timeline of Britain's Chernobyl for the next three days. Winds carried radioactive particles from the reactor to surrounding counties and eventually to the Irish Sea and the west coast of Scotland, although the government downplayed the severity of the accident. The nearby town of Sellafield was evacuated, and the surrounding area was put under strict quarantine. Food and water was rationed, and people were told to stay inside and keep their windows shut. Within a week, the radiation had spread across the entire country. So what caused the disaster? A combination of technical failures, human error, and regulatory gaps. The original plan was for the reactor to produce just 2 megawatts of thermal energy. But by 1957, it was producing more than 7 times that amount. To make matters worse, the plant's cooling system failed, leading to an unchecked rise in temperature. When the graphite moderator reached 800 degrees Celsius, it ignited, causing the reactor to explode. The immediate impact was limited to the plant's cooling system, which blew out releasing radioactive gas and particulate matter into the air. But the long-term effects were more far-reaching. Soil and water samples taken years later revealed widespread contamination, and studies showed that the disaster likely contributed to hundreds of cases of thyroid cancer, particularly among children. Although the British press reported on the accident, the government attempted to cover up the true extent of the disaster. In the following years, official reports were heavily censored and many involved in the cleanup operation were sworn to secrecy. It wasn't until 30 years later that the true story of Windscale was revealed. Despite the disaster, nuclear power has remained popular in Britain. Today, it provides about a quarter of the country's energy needs. Some believe that Windscale could have been much worse if the explosion had happened just two days earlier when schoolchildren were on their way to school. Others argue that the disaster would have been less severe if the government hadn't tried to cover it up. Today, the site of the former nuclear power station is a World Heritage Site in a designated area of special scientific interest. Regular monitoring of the area ensures that the levels of radiation remain